Hi, and welcome back to Temple Baptist Church Online Devotion. I'm glad that you're with me today. I'm going to continue my study on the kingdom of Christ and what Matthew says about the kingdom of heaven. We find ourselves today in Matthew chapter 3 and chapter 4. Um, in Matthew chapter 3 and verse 1, John the Baptist, who had been preaching out in the wilderness of Judea, he was preaching this message, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You jo John preached to all kinds of people. Many of those people um, were uh, just everyday people, but all of those people were sinners. Every person that heard the message of John, repent for the kingdom of heaven, was a sinner. In fact, there is no one that heard the message that wasn't a sinner. Likewise, we see over in chapter 4, in verse 17, that Jesus also, when he started his ministry, began to preach that same message. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Jesus, likewise, preached to all kinds of people. There were people that came to hear him that were well. There were people that were sick. There were people that were striving to discover who is God. There were people who thought they knew who God was. There were Pharisees. There were scribes. There were Sadducees. There were priests and religious leaders. There were Romans. There were Gentiles, all of whom were sinners. Every single one of them that heard the voice of Jesus, just as those that had heard the voice of John's preaching, were sinners. All needed to hear the message, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The repentance that John and Jesus both called people to was, <coughs> was not just a change of actions or a change of lifestyle or a change of attitude, but it was a change in how they would understand God and what God was doing in their midst and the relationship that God desired to have with them. Likewise, today, every person, being a sinner, needs to hear that same message. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And what are they repenting of? Many of them are striving in their own efforts to try to reach God. Many of them are striving in their own efforts to be good people, to be people of love, people of mercy, people of compassion, people of fairness. Many of them don't understand what it means to have a true, sincere, intimate relationship with God the Father. And that repentance that Jesus calls them to, that the Word of God uses, that the Spirit speaks to their heart, is to turn from themselves and to turn to Christ. Because the Scripture tells us that only in Christ, only in Christ, can we have a relationship, an intimate relationship with God the Father. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Jesus said, and likewise, John preached those same words, and we as well say that same thing today. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. It can be grabbed and held onto because God has made it available to us. How is it available? Well, the Son of God, being fully God, existing before time began, eternal, purely holy and glorious in nature. Having created all things, stepped out of his glorious estate and into a physical body, the body of a man through the virgin birth and became Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us. And with all love and mercy and compassion and power and wisdom, in order to save mankind from the result of sin and having a sinful nature, he became the pure and holy sacrifice for man's sin. Once and for all, 
he died. As that sacrifice, then he was buried. Then, three days later, he rose from the dead. Forty days following, he ascended into heaven to take up his place as the king in his kingdom. A kingdom which is eternal and a kingdom which is meant for each one who would put their faith and their trust in him as Lord, as Savior, as their sacrifice to trust him and what he did as the payment for their sin so that they could receive forgiveness and by the grace of God, salvation and a place waiting for them in that heavenly kingdom. For you, today, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And I trust that you've already made Jesus Lord of your life. But if not, then today should be the day that you call upon Jesus to forgive you of your sin, to cleanse you from all unrighteousness, to save you. Giving your heart, giving your life into his hands, make him your Lord. You know, at Temple Baptist Church, the Lordship of Christ is an important thing. And we want to make sure that everyone has heard the opportunity to put their faith in Jesus Christ as Savior, as Lord, and to experience someday the kingdom that he has waiting on them, the heavenly kingdom. We meet on Sundays at 8 a.m., 10 a.m., and 6 p.m and then on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. Come and join us as we grow in Christ together, as we learn more about what it means to be part of the kingdom of Christ and what it means to have a home in that kingdom waiting on us someday when we leave this earthly existence. We love you, and I hope that you will join me next time for session number three, in the kingdom of Christ. God bless you, and I'll see you then.